Your goal on Amazon should be improving your keyword ranking. So make sure that the keywords or the phrases that you're choosing are relevant to your products and your keyword ranking should definitely be high. Hey sellers, I'm Ria Mittal and welcome back to another amazing guide video by Seller App. Today I will be answering the most asked question by you guys is how you can make sure that your listing is getting indexed and second, how often are you supposed to make sure that your listing is getting indexed. So we're going to take a deep dive into keyword research and we're going to give you some strategies that will help you make sure that your visibility is definitely out there and your listings are getting clicks. So let's get into it. So if you're a beginner seller, the first question that has popped up in your mind is Ria, why do I need to index my listing and why is listing indexing so important? And we're going to be talking about just that. Well, to begin with, checking the indexing of your listing ensures that your listing is well optimized. It also ensures that all the keywords that you have used by far are now indexed and is visible on Amazon. So the more number of keywords that get indexed in your listing ensures more visibility to your potential buyers. So this is how Amazon's A9 algorithm works. The more conversions you make, the more Amazon pushes your listing. So you need to focus on keywords which are more in conversions rather than volume because the more conversions you make, the more Amazon is going to push your listing. So another reason why checking the indexing of your listing is so important is that Amazon keeps changing its algorithm. So it can keep changing the categories that your product might be shown in and that can definitely have an impact on your keywords. It can get de-indexed. So make sure you're checking if your keywords are indexed or not and this is going to play an important role in your whole Amazon journey. And it's just not the keywords that Amazon indexes on your listing. Any keyword that is used in your customer uh, questions, reviews and anything else also gets indexed in your listing. So make sure that you are not leaving those behind. So another question that I get asked quite a lot is what is the difference between keyword ranking and keyword indexing? And that is a brilliant question that you guys have out there. So we are going to answer just that. So when it comes with your keyword indexing, there is only two ways that you can go about it. If your keyword is indexed, your listing shows up for that search term. If your keyword is not indexed, your listing does not go on the search page. For example, let's say I'm looking for a pencil sharpener. If pencil sharpener as a keyword is indexed in my listing, my listing will show up when a customer searches for a pencil sharpener. However, if I'm not indexed for the keyword pencil sharpener, my listing is not going to show up in the search results. So this is keyword indexing. And now when we're talking about keyword ranking, keyword ranking is where your product shows up in the search result page. So this means that you're automatically indexed for the keyword and this is just to do with your ranking, whether you're ranking high for the keyword or whether you're ranking low for the keyword. So your goal on Amazon should be improving your keyword ranking. So make sure that the keywords or the phrases that you're choosing are relevant to your products and your keyword ranking should definitely be high. All right, now we're moving to the main crux of the video where I'm going to be giving you a listing indexing checklist. So take out your pen and paper and let's get started. So the most primary and the most important method um, to get your keywords listed is, is to present it in a data structure. That means your keywords should be in your bullet points, your title and your back in search terms. So make sure that your title and your bullet point has the most important keywords. Important keywords being keywords which you think are relevant to your product and has the most conversion value are placed in your title and bullet points. And if you are repeating your keywords, just remember that that is not a ranking factor by Amazon. So if you're repeating your keywords, make sure that they're only relevant to the customers. Just repeating your keyword is not going to help you rank on Amazon. So your product title is one of the most important factors of your listing and all your important keywords have to be mentioned there. It is very important for you to optimize and define your title in a very specific manner. Make sure your title includes the following. So first you have to include your brand name. Second would be the flavor, uh, the color and the variant. The third is your size and quantity and then comes the keywords. So this is how you structure your title using the information I've just given you. The first term is your brand name. The, after that comes your main keyword 
And the third term is where you can add your personalized keyword. This includes the variant, the flavor, or the size of the product that you're selling. So moving on, we're going to be talking about bullet points now and bullet points is a very important part of your listing. This is the first description that a customer sees about your listing and you have to concentrate your keyword research here as well. So make sure that your keywords are listed properly in your bullet points and description. I'm going to be giving you some pointers that you can include in your bullet points. So the bullet point is where you can add these important key features about your product. The first one, of course, being your product key feature. Second is your product's USP. Third is user cases. Fourth is seasonality or the occasion the product is going to be used at. Fifth is detail size variation or color information. And the last but not the least, customer support. So take the important information that you have given you right now and take these points and derive keywords based on the points that I've just shown you. So of course you can find a relevant uh, keywords based on your brand name, your USP, your color variations and so much more. So you can derive relevant and good ranking keywords from the above information. So as you can see in the first bullet point you can add keywords related to your product's features and USP. In the second bullet point you can add keywords based on use cases. In the next bullet point, you can add a detailed description about the color, size, quantity, variations, etc. And you can also add personalized keyword based on these. And in the fourth and fifth bullet point, you can add seasonal, occasional, as if it's a birthday gift, for example. Based on these keywords, you can provide good customer care or good customer support. So the next important part of your listing is product description and product description helps you elaborate on your product a little bit more. It is um, put up to 2000 words but of course you can put in a lot more information compared to your bullet points and if a customer has reached your product description they are really considering buying your product. So things that you can add in your product description is your brand story, any information that you missed out in your bullet points and third is what makes your product unique. You can add, um, you know, the competition versus your product and points like that here. So another important note here is that you can find keywords as we did um, in our bullet points. So you can derive keywords using the same technique um, for your descriptions. Just make sure that your keywords are blending in naturally uh, with the description sentences. Your keywords should not stand out. Otherwise, it is really unpleasant to read. So talking about back-end keywords, back-end keywords are notoriously very important to your Amazon listing. So back-end keywords are hidden search terms or keywords that can be added to your listing which will not be visible to a customer. The most common back-end keywords could be misspellings of your product, the Spanish or other language terms of your product and these play a very important role in Amazon um, SEO as well. So make sure you're using the most important part of your listing which are backend search terms. So the backend search term also covered two main aspects um, for you. The first one is the discoverability of your product and the second one is the readability of your listing. So some examples of that could be if I'm selling coffee, I can write all the misspellings of coffee that is usually seen um, on Amazon and put it in my backend keyword. I would also use the Spanish term of coffee and put that in my backend keyword. So now we're going to be talking about how you can check the indexing status of your listing. So the first way is rather easy. All you have to do is to take your product ASIN and the keyword that you want to check if your listing is indexed for it or not. So take the ASIN and take the keyword and paste it in the Amazon search box and click search. If your product shows up on the Amazon search page, that means your product or your listing is indexed for the keyword. If you get a message saying your search did not match any product, that probably states that your listing is not indexed for the search term. The second and the most easiest way to check if your listing has been indexed for a keyword is to use an automated tool like SellerApp. SellerApp's Amazon Index Checker is an advanced index checker tool that displays whether your keywords are indexed or not. You can add as many keywords as you want and within one click, you will get to know your keywords indexing status. Stay updated with the status of your backend keywords, track which search terms are being picked up by Amazon and focus on the enhancing the ones that aren't. And if you're wondering how does it work, first go to your Seller Central account 
copy the backend search term and paste them in the Amazon index checker. The seller app's Amazon index checker displays whether the keywords are indexed or not. So if it shows index, that means Amazon has associated these keywords with the product and Amazon's search of the keyword will display the product in the search results. And if it shows not indexed, the product is not indexed associated with the Amazon keyword. A search using that particular keyword does not include your product in the search results and that means you have to recheck your indexing status after a while. So that is all you need to know about how you can get your listings indexed on Amazon. If you follow the guidelines that we've given you in this video, you will never struggle um, getting your listing indexed for the search terms and the keywords. And remember, as you're growing on Amazon, you will have multiple listings to check um, and that can get tedious very easily. This is where seller app tools comes into picture so you can get multiple listing checked by seller apps tool and make sure that they are indexed correctly. We also give you important metrics such as page rank, position, change in position and search visibility right at your fingertips. Drawing actionable insights has never been this easy. So make sure to check out our product, the link will be in the description and go follow us on all our social media platforms to get more informative content there. If you like this video, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to our ever-growing seller app community. And of course, until the next time I see you, happy selling.